Hey guys, welcome to another tutorial. Today, I still got my Christmas hat on. Why? Because they're so sexy. Anyways, this tutorial is going to be uh, themed about the new movie that came out, I guess, like uh, two weeks ago or a week. The new Hobbit movie. So, um, I don't know if you guys have seen the first one. I have. haven't seen the second one yet, but I'm looking forward to see it. Anyways, this tutorial is going to be about a Hobbit hole. So, I don't know if you guys have ever b tried to build a Hobbit hole. But this is what you guys are kind of going to have in the end. So basically I'm going to talk about how to do the entrance, how to do the rooms, what uh, features you should do in the house, and how to make a proper mountain around it. Anyways, let's jump into the tutorial right now and I'll uh, show you how to build Bilbo Baggins, his uh, little housey. Okay guys, here we are at the little building site I found. It's not the best building site, but I guess we kind of have to deal with it. Uh, I kind of want to excuse me. Uh, I kind of want to say sorry for not uploading for a week or so, but I'm in the middle of a test week right now, so I kind of got to focus on school, which is sometimes a little bit more important. Still, I love you guys, but still, <laughs> I hope you guys can understand. Anyways, uh, you kind of want to uh, find yourself a little bit of a fl uh, flat space in between mountains, or you either want to find a good mountain where you can p uh, put it into. I like just using a flat thing and then building the mountain myself, because that tends to be way easier because uh, then you can plan the whole building yourself. Basically, what you want to take is your oak wood, uh, your, where is it, uh, your red stained clay, your spruce wooden stairs. Oh, I just, do you guys have that same problem? Every time you want to click it, you miss, and then it falls on the ground. Anyways, you want to take up your spruce wooden planks and your uh, fences. So what you want to do is you want to find a centered point, and you want to do one, one, then a two, and then you want to do a five. One, two, three, four, five. Then you want to, of course, do two again, do a one again, and do a one again. So this is going to be your basic layout. Um, what you then want to do is you want to fill the background up with um, your red uh, stained clay. And don't really worry about it looking weird right now, because there's going to be a mountain around it anyways. So, um... Don't worry about that. Actually, what's pretty funny is you should take a wooden door. Uh, also, I just noticed that I can't do it right here. Well, I can. Actually, I'm going to show you guys how to do the front yard, uh, but then I have to extend this land a little bit further in. So I'm actually going to do that right real quick. The rooms are going to be working is as you have your entrance, you want to have a three hallway. And then what you want to do is you want to make a pillar three, make a pillar three. Then leave three boxes open and a pillar of three again. So basically, you just want to create your rooms kind of like this, but ev every time a three um, gap in between. So I'll do that real quick here, and then I'll show you an example of that other hobbit hole, how I did it right there. And um, pretty much the floor, uh, what I like to do for the floor is you can basically choose in between uh, the spruce wooden planks or the oak wooden planks, because the pink ones kind of... Yeah... You can do the pink ones. If you want, you can do those. Um, I don't really like those, so you could use a spruce or anything you like, pretty much. Uh, and for the rest, it, you know, it basically just works as other houses. But you just have... you can. And after, you have d after you've done with this, what you want to do is you want to make a brim like this. Make another brim like this. And make another brim going on like this, and another brim going on like this, and then you can basically fill this in with any material you like to have as your roofing. So if you got that all done, uh, you can place your mountain around it. But first, before we start into making the bigger rooms and doing all that other stuff, I want to show you guys how I did it in the other hobby hole. So we'll fly to there real quick, and um, I'll show you how I did it there. And then uh, another plank, another plank, and a plank on top. Uh, what you then could do is you could just basically place it there anyways. Just basically make uh, a standard pattern and replace those again or replace them with uh, grass. Anyways, as long as you just get a nice pattern going on there. Like I did, if you, if you want the same pattern as the other house back at the intro, you can just skip back and copy that. Anyways, this is a very simple house. Because it's a hobbit hole, and they're not really 
architected that much. So, for the rooms, uh, you kind of can decide yourself too. That's why I like so much about this tutorial is that it, you can basically customize it the way you want. Uh, the way the rooms are going to be working is as you have your entrance, you want to have a three hallway. And then what you want to do is you want to make a pillar three, make a pillar three, then leave three boxes open and a pillar three again. So basically, you just want to create your rooms kind of like this, but ev every time a three um, gap in between. So I'll do that real quick here, and then I'll show you an example of that other hobbit hole, how I did it right there. And um, pretty much the floor, uh, what I like to do for the floor is you can basically choose in between uh, the spruce wooden planks or the oak wooden planks, because the pink ones kind of... Yeah, you can do the pink ones. If you want, you can do those. Um, I don't really like those so you could use a spruce or anything you like pretty much uh, and for the rest it you know it basically just works as other houses but you just have you can and after you have d after you've done with this what you want to do is you want to make a brim like this make another brim like this and make another brim going on like this and another brim going on like this and then you can basically fill this in with any material you like to have as your roofing so if you got that all done uh, you can place your mountain around it, but first, before we start into making the bigger rooms and doing all that other stuff, I want to show you guys how I did it in the other hobby hole. So we'll fly to there real quick, and um, I'll show you how I did it there. Okay, we are there, and as you can see, we got the same entrance going on here. I used a bit more spruce wood, uh, which actually looks way better. So we're actually going to... Yeah. Oopsie. Guys, we're going to change that. We're going to go one in. I'll show you guys that later on. Anyways... It's about the, um, wait. okay guys, we're here, so this is the mountain I created by myself. As you can see here, there's a little, uh, yeah, what is it, a chimney going on there, uh, just a lot of grass on top of it, and the mountain itself I created by my own. So basically, this is the, the front entrance uh, with a little garden, and once you go in, this is my interior. So as I've shown you, you use the brims everywhere, and every time you use a three um, gap in between, and then paste uh, the red stained uh, blocks behind it. Uh, for the for the floor, I used the spruce wood, and then pretty much I used some patterns uh, in the ceiling, changed the ceiling a little bit, and then just basically interiorize it. It's it's not that hard and. I don't, I don't think it's hard, and it's very easy to do, since you don't have to care about the outside, because the outside is pretty much a mountain. So, hey guys, um, right after doing this, I noticed I just went on for uh, 15 minutes, making and finishing the whole Hobbit house for you guys, while my freps actually had crashed in the background, and I had no idea. Uh, so I noticed it and I went to do it again. Actually, it's a test week for me right now, so I have to study a lot for school, and I've actually been trying to fix it for two hours now. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to make this as a first part, because I really want something to be uploaded for you guys, and the second part will be up later um, this week. So I hope you guys really um, understand why this tutorial isn't full. Um, I'm so really sorry, and I hope you guys still have a great day. Sorry for the inconvenience, but I simply just want something to be uploaded for you guys and don't want to wait another week or another three days. So, welcome to 2014. This has been time with the crushing fraps and has tried it 300 times. I actually want to hit my screen. Anyways, sorry, and see you guys later. Shit. <laughs>